Hey Blake. Hey, how's it going? It's good. It's good, good. to see you in there. I'm glad to be in the expensive lounge where the carpet is soft. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're here at Yamaha. Uh, mm -hmm. Big news, right? Yeah. So this is, uh, um, we're announcing ESP here at the NAMM show. We released the Montage M about in October. And one of the things that we announced when we released Montage M was that there was going to be a soft synth component called ESP, Expanded Soft Synth Plugin for Montage M. And what's cool about this is that it is the Montage M in software. And here, let me prove it to you. So right now, I'm going to start out, I'm going to go to my DAW remote here, and I'm going to turn on local control. So the first thing you're going to hear is the actual Montage M. And I picked a fairly uh, cool performance here that's called SFZ, SFZ Tremolo BPM Orchestra. An eight part performance. So I love this one because it's got all the, the big. So again, you're hearing the hardware. You're hearing Montage M. Right. Now check this out. I'm going to go to my DAW remote and I'm going to switch off local control. So now I'm local control's off. You don't hear anything here. Now I'm going to unmute this track in Cubase that has the same sound, SFZ BPM Sync, and check it out. It's the same sound, and that's what's cool about ESP. ESP is free to every single Montage M owner. In the box with your Montage M, there is a card that says the expanded soft synth for Montage M, it says it on there, and at the bottom is a 30-digit code. That code is what you're going to enter into the download. You go to our website and get the Steinberg e-licensor uh, activation system. It's what Steinberg uses to activate their stuff. Yeah. That's what we use to get ESP. You'll enter that code there, and you can download this soft synth. It runs uh, VST3 or AU, Windows or Mac. Um, the system requirements, if you go to Yamaha Synth, I have an article that has all of that. Or you go to Yamaha.com and see it there as well on our website. But um, what's cool about this, Right now we have the quick edit version is what this is. So it's basically this section on a montage area. There's quick edit controls that are here. The deeper edit you can do inside montage where you can get to the, the lowest level of everything, operators and stuff like that. But the quick edit gives you these controls here and that's what we have here. So, but I can still do quite a bit here. So if I select something like, this is the sound we were just looking at here. And let's say I wanted to do some edits here. Like I want maybe a little bit darker orchestra sound, so I maybe change the EQ. Or if I wanted to grab one of these parts, I can look at different parts in here. And I can change stuff in here, low and high EQ here. So a little bit more low, a little bit less high. So I'm editing the montage sound in the computer. But the coolest thing is that if I were to maybe disconnect my personal montage at home, maybe go to another place that has a different Montage M, and I connect these two, I have to be on the same firmware, which is 1.20, which we just dropped. Yeah. It, so it, that negotiates this stuff. But I go up here, and I can select right here this little, and it says here, transmit to M8X. I send it over, and inside my screen here, it's receiving that information, and now that sound is in another Montage M. So you can freely share um, the sounds back and forth. And it, does that go into a program location or is it in like the edit buffer? It goes buffer? into the buffer and then yeah. I just store it here. So Beautiful. I have to store it locally here. But you can also load, if I go to um, the, um, you can also load in user files and backup files here as well. So I could go in and load that way as well into the, into the, um, into ESP as well. Yeah. But the cool thing to me is you can have multiple instances of it. So you're quadrupling, quintupling the power of Montage M, and it really per performs quite well. Um, in fact, I'll move this to the end of this song here. Yeah, that looks pretty dense. <laughs> so I will go to my guitar sound here. So I'm playing this jazz guitar sound uh, just to see what that looks like. Bring it up here. Go to my DAW remote, local controls off. So it's this jazz guitar that I created in here. Again, I edited it in. I edited it in the montage, and I used this 
to send it from the Montage M into the, into the software here, right. which is very nice. I went the other way, so I can do it here. But as I play this back, it just... You know, that's all software. All of it is montage sound, but it's all in ESP. And I'm guessing what's happening, are you using the montage audio interface to play that back through as yes. well? So this oh, is all that I'm connected that, that's here. That's so meta, isn't it? So yeah. It's just crazy. Yeah, I mean, I'm just using, this is all USB audio MIDI connectivity. And the fact that I can play, I mean, this. No latency. That's not, not at all. It's really, it's a very efficient driver, the Yamaha Steinberg, uh, you know, driver for Mac. And this, and just to give you an idea of what processing power this is, this is kind of a mid-level MacBook. You know, it's 16 gigs of RAM, M2 Pro. It's not the Ultra. I ran it on my daughter's MacBook Air. It's, it, it really uh, is a, a rather efficient plug-in, I must say. I've gotten about nine different instances. Wow, okay. It's like having nine additional monitors. So do you, I mean, can you get all, uh, I guess, are there expansions and all of the stuff, all of the maximum amount of... Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot more stuff coming forward. The thing that's going to be cool about this, though, is that as we get, you know, moving forward with stuff, you'll be able to load sound, sound libraries from third parties that were written for Montage M, but you can load them into the ESP as well. And man, for people that are touring, for people that are doing production, <laughs> this is kind of a Kind of a new game changer in a lot of so ways. So what happens if you haven't got a Montage M hardware? Can What's you, that? What happens if you haven't actually got a Montage M? Can you buy Good the question. software? So I was in my room the other night and I hooked up my Reface CP and played all the Montage sounds from the Reface. It doesn't matter if you have a controller, it's good. You can play any controller with it, <coughs> which is another benefit. Can you buy uh, ESP without having a Montage? No, right. it's free only to Montage M owners. In the box is that code, and that's the only way to get Montage M ESP for Montage M is uh, by owning a Montage M. So are all the sounds of Montage M in the ESP? All the preset sounds on Montage M are absolutely in ESP. In fact, if you go over here, if I touch, right, it's this little magnifying glass right here. I can search. It's the same type of search. So if I want to see pad sounds that use the ANX engine only, there you go. So that dark vintage pad, if I do over here inside category search, right? And I go to pad sounds and I go to attribute in the page here and say ANX, dark vintage pad right here. It's the same sound exactly. So it uses the same ex uh, type of um, category search area here. You can tag favorites in there and the same thing. It's just. It's a montage. So any Montage M model, you get yes. this? Yes, right, six, so seven, or eight. Six, seven, or eight. Okay, nice one. Well, Blake, if you wouldn't mind playing us out with a little bit of uh, something appropriate, just play us out with a couple of sounds, and okay. then we've got everything sure. we need. Let me grab some of the cool ones that I really... Uh, well, I mean... Well, here, I'm not playing Montage M. Should I play it in ESP, yeah, or should sure. I do? Okay, we'll do ESP sounds. ESP only. So I'll go to... Some of my favorite, let me take off the ANX, the RD8. And I just love the electric pianos, and I mean, the fact that I'm playing the montage sound, but it, you're still not hearing montage, you're hearing ESP, and I can play that fast, I just don't feel any of the any of the things that traditionally people get when they play, um, you know, a software instrument. The latency thing. I just don't feel. I feel like it's it's and right I, there. And I guess also. I mean, the thing is, is as firmware for the montage upgrades, then ESP will upgrade as well, right? So they're, they're, yeah, they're both absolutely. Parity. Another thing that we added with Montage M are this oh, nice upright. Is that it's that? a felt piano. So it's a U1 with a felt that dropped into it. And the cool thing about this too is that if I have this in here, 
I can control the super knob. A lot of the stuff isn't completely mapped in here, but the super knob definitely, if I'm in here, is mapped. So you see I'm turning the super knob. So <laughs> We just went from an intimate sequence to a sort of dreamy sequence. Yeah, it's a mem the memories we're at now, are we? Lovely. There's another sound in here, actually, that I love in this um, because I'm a big, as anybody in the uh, in the world of synth, uh, I love Radiohead. All right, okay. So this sound here, I won't exactly play the same. Whirly it's like style. It sounds like an old HH piano. Like really old, yeah. That's nice. I don't think I'll get it. <laughs> I'll play a different rhythm. So that's an ANX sound with just one oscillator. Nice. That's why I just love that sound. Um, but then, of course, you do have, you know, the uh, super knob control on the. But I can do some editing in here as well. Like looking at this, I can see, you know, what's on, what's off, what's happening in here. So if I wanted to change this to a different waveform, maybe change this one to a. Each of the oscillators in the ANX engine will do self syncing. Yeah, so you can get pretty deep. Yeah, for the even even with the quick edit, you can get into quite a lot. You have your filter settings in here. So, so if I'm working inside the software like I'm doing now, if I love that sound, I just love the ability to just go, I want that to show up over here. So here it comes. So when I drop it in here, now as soon as this comes up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my DAW remote because it gives me a handy lo local control. And then let me just close off this piece of it here. I'm going to mute that sound here. So now you're not hearing any ESP. Now you're hearing the hardware, but it's the same sound I just created in the software. And now I have all the real-time controls right here where I can go. One of the coolest things about Montage M is this little 512 by 64 screen that they added. It makes the quick editing so much faster. And all the stuff in Montage, you know, the fact that now an, uh, a single part used to have eight elements in Montage. In Montage M, a single part can have up to 128 elements. So the depth of this instrument is just, it's crazy. It's gotten way more, uh, you know, the capabilities of it are, are much bigger. And the, uh, the sound design capabilities that have yet to be realized I think the sound designers got up, the most I've seen is 58 elements. They just, that was all they needed and they, that's not even half of what it can do. So it's pretty deep. But with this, I'm just playing an ANX engine here. But so, you know, the idea of, of going from the software to the hardware that elegantly yeah, no, on nice. an instrument like this is, is amazing. So Love uh, it. this is available now, right? Yes, downloadable now. It's with, there's two things you're gonna need. You're gonna need, obviously the stuff in the box, the code and everything. But you also have to update to OS version 1.20. There's a few um, low-level things they've changed. They did one here. I'll show you one thing that they added in 1.20. Now, anybody that is of a certain age will appreciate this. Go to Utility, go to the System area, and go to Live Set Font Size. Hey! And now when I go to my Live Set, it's big. <laughs> <laughs> so they added that in 1.2. But the main thing is that they added the infrastructure that negotiates the connection between... Yeah. The uh, Montage M and the and the uh, and ESP. Basically, in a nutshell, Montage is a four-port MIDI interface. Port one is for Montage sounds internally. Port two is remote control. Port three, actually, uh, in USB, if you set it to port three, it'll spit out whatever is hitting that out the MIDI out port. So if you connect an external tone generator, you can use this as uh, as a MIDI interface yeah. with standard okay. MIDI. Now, port four was added with Montage M. And when we released it, everybody's asking, what's port four for? Well, at release, it wasn't usable. Now it's usable. It's for ESP. That's what specifically negotiates the transmission of information between the two, the hardware and the software. 
and it works flawlessly. It's great. Thank you so much, Blake. There you go. It's great to see everybody over on Sonic State, by the way. I love that site so much. So, And it's great to see you, Nick. It's been a while. Thanks awesome to much, see you, man. man. Take care.